cycling can be done on a stationary bike, a road bike, or a mountain bike, and can range from a leisurely ride to a high-intensity workout. It is a good way to burn calories and improve cardiovascular fitness, it helps to build muscle in the legs, and can help with weight loss. It's important to note that cycling is a lower impact exercise than running and can be a good option for people who have joint problems or who are recovering from an injury. However, it is still important to use proper technique and equipment to avoid injury while cycling. It is also recommended to have a good bike fitting and to wear appropriate gear such as a helmet. So what are the benefits you gain if you cycle every day? Let's go! 1. Leg Strength Cycling can help to build leg strength by targeting the muscles in the legs, specifically the quadriceps, hamstrings, and calves. The pedaling motion of cycling requires the use of the quadriceps muscles, located in the front of the thigh, to push the pedals down. When cycling at a moderate to high intensity, the muscles in the legs are working against resistance, which can help to build muscle and strength over time. The resistance can come from the bike itself, such as a geared road bike, or from an external source such as a stationary bike or a trainer. In addition to building leg strength, cycling can also help to improve muscle endurance, which can help to make the legs stronger and better able to handle the demands of other activities. 2. Weight Loss When cycling at a moderate to high intensity, the body burns a significant amount of calories. The number of calories burned while cycling depends on various factors such as intensity, duration, and body weight. The longer and harder you cycle, the more calories you will burn. It's important to note that in order to lose weight, you need to burn more calories than you consume, so cycling alone may not be enough to lose weight if you don't also pay attention to your diet and overall lifestyle. To maximize the weight loss benefits of cycling, it's recommended to Cycle at a moderate to high intensity Cycle for at least 30 minutes to an hour at a time Cycle regularly, at least 3 to 4 times a week Combine cycling with a balanced diet and other physical activities. Track your progress by measuring your body weight and body composition over time. 4. Reduced risk of chronic diseases. Regular cycling can help lower your risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. 5. Cardiovascular Fitness Cycling is a cardiovascular exercise that can help improve cardiovascular fitness by increasing the strength and efficiency of the heart, lungs, and circulatory system. When you cycle, your heart has to work harder to pump blood to your muscles, which leads to an increase in heart rate and blood flow. This increased work strengthens the heart muscle, making it more efficient at pumping blood and oxygen to the body. 5. Good Mental Health Mental health cycling has been shown to have many benefits for mental health, including Reducing stress, cycling can help to reduce stress by releasing endorphins, also known as feel-good hormones, which can improve mood and reduce feelings of anxiety and depression. Improving mood, cycling can help to improve mood and boost self-esteem by providing a sense of accomplishment and the opportunity to engage in enjoyable physical activity. Enhancing cognitive function, cycling can help to improve cognitive function by increasing blood flow to the brain, which can help to improve memory and concentration. Relieving symptoms of depression, cycling can help to reduce symptoms of depression by providing an outlet for stress and anxiety and by improving mood. Providing social benefits, cycling can provide social benefits by providing an opportunity to engage in group rides or to participate in cycling events, which can help to improve social connections and reduce feelings of isolation. Improving sleep, regular cycling can also help to improve sleep by reducing stress and anxiety, promoting feelings of relaxation, and helping to regulate the body's sleep-wake cycle. It's important to note that cycling can also have some risks. Make sure to wear protective gear such as helmets, gloves, and appropriate shoes to reduce the risk of injury. Also, if you are new to cycling, start slowly and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your rides to prevent injury. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fitness tips. Thank you for watching.